now ready to write, well, actually, if you just turn your page over, we, we have the, the abstracted accumulate tree function. So I'll put it up on the screen. Bless you. So it looks like instead of opt, we called it combiner, but it's the same thing. Um, that's the same as opt. That's the operator. Um, the base case we called null value. And then the term transforming function we did call term. Yeah, so that one was named the same. So now we can do anything on trees. We can do anything on trees just by um, composing an expression that uses this new function. So this is this is the an, uh, analog analogous to um, accumulate, which is fold r, the right fold, fold from the right. So this is the tree version of that. Um, I don't know if this is a built-in in scheme. Does anybody know? Is there a built-in tree like thing? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll we'll treat this as a fundamental building block. Um, okay. So I think we're ready to do the. We're ready to do question two, which is to use this thing. So you're going to hand it some stuff. Obviously, it gets handed the tree. But then you're also going to construct a, a term transforming function. It should be clear that that's a function because we see it used here operating on what, what is, what, at this point in the recursion, what is tree here? What? It's not a pair. <laughs> okay. Can, yeah. So, given our whole context, if it's not a pair, what is it? It's an it's a leaf, right? I mean, if it's a if it's a tree of numbers, it's a number. I think we're only dealing with trees of numbers right now. But it it's no pair says. How does pair work? We, we we talked about this a little bit before. Pair looks at the object and says. Are you a con cell? That's all it does. It doesn't walk its way down, you know, are you a list? It, no, it just looks at the thing it's pointed at. Are you a con? Remember, each object knows what it is. If, it, if you ask it, it can tell you. It, it, yeah, okay, he's, he's giving me good questions. And if it's a list of three things, as we don't know. The only way to find out is to walk down. And, you know, that's order in time. So don't do that unless you have to. Um, yeah. So we know it's uh, a number, and then this term function is going to be applied to it. All right, so why don't you guys do question two? I'll stop talking.